Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we'll be showing you how to replace the lower radiator hose on this 1998 uh, Pontiac Grand Prix with the 3.8 liter. Um, pretty much the same uh, procedure as most of this era Grand Prix with the 3.8 liters. Tools you'll need are jack and jack stands, uh, 13 and 15 millimeter socket and ratchets, um, pliers, and flat blade screwdriver. Now ideally what you want to do is drain the radiator first and you go up under the driver's side, um, driver's front tire right there, and you will see a little green uh, petcock right there and you basically unscrew that with a pair of pliers. Now on this vehicle uh, the ears on that just broke off so we end up actually doing the secondary way which is just pulling the lower radiator hose off. So to pull the lower radiator hose off um, you want to go up underneath the passenger side and um, it's a little, little difficult to see. There's a airfoil right there, kind of pulled out of the way. You can see the hose right there and the arrow is pointing to the hose clamp. And what we're going to do is reach up in there um, with a large set of pliers. Okay, so you can see here a nice large pair of uh, pliers and then the clips basically have ears on them that you grab onto with the pliers and you squeeze which expands the clip and ideally you want to pull the clip off of the hose and then slowly pull the hose off the radiator so you can drain the radiator in a controlled man manner. As you can see here, um, I'm basically pulling on the clip and what happened was the clip was just stuck to the hose so the whole hose pulled off at once um, and it drained very quickly and not in a controlled manner. Um, not the ideal situation but you can see I have a drain pan underneath and I managed to catch at least a majority um, of the fluid that came out. Now what you're going to do is use a 15 millimeter wrench and um, hook it onto your tensioner right there and re release the tension on your belt and remove your belt. Then your belt tensioner is held on by a 13 millimeter bolt, so remove that and then remove your tensioner, which gives you access to the uh, hose where it's connected to the engine. Okay, and now you can use uh, pliers to reach down below and grab the um, clamp, and you can see that the actually the tensioner and belt are back on there uh, because when I did this originally, um, I was able to get the hose off without removing those. But uh, believe me, remove the tensioner and the belt first. It makes everything a whole lot easier to get to. Um, you can see me struggling right here to get the pliers down there. If you can see through my head, um, get the pliers down there, squeeze onto that clamp. Okay, so you can see my arms kind of wedged down in there. The On these cars, the clamp is kind of positioned down at the bottom. Um, so basically, it's a it's an exercise in getting the pliers on there and then basically you can see I'm just grabbing onto the to the hose shaking it and pulling it off um, and eventually it it comes off for you. Now the easiest way to get this back in here is to use uh, stainless steel band clamps rather than the original clamps okay so you can see I just got them on here put the hose down in now you may drop the lower one off of there but it's not a big deal so I'll put the hose in with that tensioner out of there you can easily see push the hose on right there and push the clamp right up into place Okay, so you can see we've got the hose on, we've got our clamp in place, we'll reach down, and I can't really film this because there's not enough room, but reach down and put the lower hose on to the radiator spout, and it's kind of a 
work by feel thing. Once you have that pushed on, just check where the hose goes and where it routes. Make sure it's not touching anything. And then just use a nice long screwdriver. I'll pull that up just a little more. So it's easy to get to. You can tighten up the upper. Okay, I'm just going to use a ratchet and socket with an extension to tighten it up a little more. Okay, now here I'm going to uh, um, reinstall. I'm going to fast forward through reinstalling the belt tensioner and the belt. And again, it's a 15 millimeter bolt. Tighten it up on there. Um, then route your belt. Uh, use your make sure you have your um, belt routing diagram. Um, route the belt back where it goes. Put your 15 millimeter wrench on there. Pull the tension off, and your belt's on. And now down below. Um, I've got the hose on and the hose clamp in place. I'm just kind of um, using the screwdriver to get it into a good place where I can work the screwdriver on there easily. And again, using these stainless steel clamps that use a screwdriver or a socket and ratchet is a whole lot easier than trying to put it back together with the original um, spring style clamps. And now what you want to do, after that's tightened up, you want to wipe everything down so that you get rid of all the drips that way you can start it up, run it and make sure that you're not getting any leaking from anywhere. Depending on how much coolant came out when you drain the radiator, if you drained it, um, looks like about probably about a gallon came out there. So now I'm going to refill uh, the radiator. This car still is running its Dex Cool, so I've got mixed Dex Cool here. So add, then run the car some, let it heat up. Uh, the way you check it on this car is um, it should be when it's cold, the fluid's up to here. We'll clean this off a little bit and we'll go from there. You just want to run your car a little bit, let it heat up, make sure there's no drips, no loose cl clamps or anything like that, uh, and you should be all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.